Join us as we discuss more on the Na, or the North American hominid, also known as Sasquatch. Come with us as we speak to Dakota and hear what his stories and his witness testimony as him and a friend were far up Phantom Canyon on some nameless remote mountainside looking down at the canyon and road below and what they saw. Dakota Manning and I've been in Colorado for most pretty much all my life. Um, been hunting for most of my life since I was 12 or 13 years old. Um, spent a lot of time in the woods. I bow hunt quite a bit and I uh, seen weird stuff, experienced weird stuff. Um, first thing that I've witnessed was middle of summertime, I think around 2014 or 15, me and my buddy went up to Phantom Canyon. Really quick, Phantom Canyon is a canyon in Colorado that goes all the way from Cripple Creek and Victor all the way down to Fremont County by Canyon City. And in fact, originally a railroad was built to bring gold from Cripple Creek and Victor down to Florence to get processed. There's a lot of stories about the area being haunted. And in one of the stories, there's a Native American woman. You can hear her screaming up there, which is interesting because of Dakota's scream that he heard there. Now you have a little idea what Panta Canyon is and where it's at. We're just screwing around up there and we hiked to the top of this ridge where we could see down the valley we crossed and another valley on the other side of the ridge. Um, saw a herd of deer, we were watching the herd of deer through some binoculars and we heard a crash on the valley side of the ridge that we came across. Looked down, saw this, I don't know what, it, big creature, big lumbering thing. So we parked down at the bottom of the hill where the white pickup is for representation. Hiked up the finger of this mountain right here. Got to right about in this area. We were watching deer down in this valley over here. And uh, behind me on the valley on this side, pretty much directly straight down, we heard, we heard a crash. Well, at first we took to be a herd of deer running through the trees. I don't know what it, big creature, big lumbering thing. Come out of the tree line, run across the valley, up the hill, cross the road into another tree line. Whole duration lasted maybe 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, something like that, seeing them. Tall, wide, big lumbering legs, big arms. Um, and as we were looking down over the edge, we see it, whatever it was, was uh, come running out through the tree line down here <clears throat> and hit the clearing, crossed the creek, up the first embankment, crossed the, high, or crossed the dirt road there, up the, up the second embankment, up to the top of the hill, that finger, up and over into the tree line, and that's, uh, that's where we saw and that's, that's about the whole duration of the time we saw him. Um, we have Glenn down there somewhere, being our stand-in Bigfoot. Describe what the, the figure you saw. Tell me what, what, how big, what color, what? Dark, dark color, tall. You could easily tell over the, through the binos it was over 10, 8, 10 foot tall. Long legs, hands down past his knees. You know, the typical Hollywood Bigfoot swinging arms, stride, you know, whatever. He was moving with purpose, almost as if he was spooked. It was spooked, whatever it was. Um, couldn't make heads or tails of a shoulder and neck, or neck to shoulder, shoulders to neck to head. Um, long hair. Well, you couldn't, you couldn't see it, or what? You didn't, couldn't, you could, discern couldn't discern a neck. Couldn't discern a neck. Could not. Um, yeah. All right, so the creature we saw was moving with much more purpose than Glenn is down there and was considerably from up here bigger. You could, you noticeably bigger, bigger body, big, bigger in height, big swinging arms. He's crossing the creek right now, as you can see. And I mean, this creature did it in 
less time than Glenn has. I mean, a fraction of the time just moving across this this uh, area. And Glenn is, what, 6'2", something like that. So he's moving right along, but whole duration may have been 10, 15 seconds we saw this thing from whenever we heard the crash, he'd come out and up and over up the hill. How wide, how wide do you think the shoulders were? I mean, what, what size was that this ballpark? I mean, could you get a sense of that? Big, <laughs> big, very big, bigger than man, unless you're a really big bodybuilder. Couldn't really give you a, a, a width on shoulders or a gauge, just big. Um, didn't really, couldn't really discern much more through the binos because it was a couple hundred yards away as we saw it for. We saw it. I don't know what, but. And you, you said it crossed a road? Ran up a hillside, crossed the road, disappeared in the tree line, ran on the other side of the road. And you were, you, so when we get out there, you'll be mm -hmm. able to show us that you said it went up a, a hill. Mm -hmm. I could show you the hill. I could show you exactly where we were sitting on the mountainside or on the ridge and what valley, what part of the section it crossed and up the road. I could show you. Yeah, the creature we saw we're looking at was uh, about twice Glenn's height. And I mean, these are better binoculars than what I had that day so many years ago. And it was low light and it was in the middle of summertime at that time when we saw them. So it was thicker shrubs, um, more cover, and uh, the lower light conditions made it a little difficult to see, but very, very noticeable to see nonetheless. As Glenn's at the bottom of the embankment, he can't get up it, but this creature walked up it with no issues whatsoever. Glenn did a good job at uh, showing kind of the route that this hominid took but here you'll be able to see a better view of more ex better of approximation of the route that it took and what's interesting to notice is that it took a route certainly of least resistance but still with plenty of cover concealment on all sides and I would even go further to speculate and guess that it's used that route before you know Dakota talks about how it went, went with a purpose. And I think that purpose shows that it knew exactly where it was going and it was using a route that it's uh, used in the past. In fact, there are many deer trails or animal trails, as you will, that come down off that mountain and lead into that spot where they had this, this eyewitness encounter. So I think that's very telling. I think it's also safe to assume because we've seen this multiple times now that they don't seem to have any problem crossing roads whether they're dirt or paved in fact they don't seem to be afraid to go into small towns where they're least likely to get detected and who knows maybe they go deeper into larger urban environments closer to wilderness than we uh, even may even consider which personally bothers me so I try not to think about it, but <laughs> that's what the testimony is slowly pushing and suggesting, if we're willing to look at it objectively and honestly. This gives us an opportunity. If the previous assumptions are correct, that this hominid is using this route over and over again, even during the day, then this is a place where an experiment could be conducted of observing that area from that location in order to see if we get results and be more prepared. This of course takes time and resources and of course if it does present itself we'll capitalize on that. But that is something important to note that there is an opportunity here based on behaviors and potentially suggested assumptions. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and thank you, Dakota, for coming forward. 
And the killer's not done yet. His most recent sighting was one where he was 30 yards away, and this one terrified him. Here's a sneak peek for next week's encounter. Oh, it's interesting, this goalie right here. This is the perfect way to move through without being detected. Yeah. And this white, snow white face, beady black eyes. Could you even could you see a little bit of his chest and shoulders or mainly just his face and, it and just, his arms? It's just like the, the face and hands. Just That's like this. insane. That is huge. Thank you and have a wonderful day.